Hi, welcome to my channel Data Engineering. So today we're going to discuss about how to integrate Spark with Cassandra. So if you are very new to Cassandra, Cassandra is a NoSQL database similar to HBase and MongoDB. And uh, via Spark, we're going to connect Cassandra and read data from Cassandra. And I want to do some kind of a processing in Spark. So for that, we need the Spark Cassandra connectivity. So you need more videos on Cassandra, then you can check my playlist link, which I have already provided in the description box of this video. And similar to that, I have already shared my Spark uh, complete playlist link in the description box of this video. For more videos, you can refer that. So here I have already started my Cassandra service, which is running here. You can able to see here and uh, Cassandra has a Cassandra shell and uh, okay. So let me come out from this. Okay. So the command is bin slash SQLSH. Uh, this is just to enter Cassandra and then I have to start my spark shell, but there is a small change. After giving spark cell command, you have to pass this package. So iPhone iPhone packages. So this com dot data stacks dot spark spark Cassandra connector is is a is a main point here because this particular uh, dependency is going to enable the connection between Spark and Cassandra. And uh, uh, this particular there is a version dependencies which is very important like uh, this version of Cassandra will only connect with this version of Spark. So we have that mapping. So I have shared that uh, mapping GitHub link in the description box of this video. Please check for the version and then you can start your connectivity or else version mismatch will will come into picture. So here I'm using Spark 2.4 and Cassandra 3.0.1 that is 3x. So for that, I have to use 2.5.0 uh, as a, the connector version, uh, which was builded with 2.11 Scala. Okay, fine. So uh, if this package command is not allowed in your uh, in your machine, means in, in your real time machine, because this will install the dependencies uh, uh, from the internet. So this is all this is also available as a jar file. You can download the jar file also. And instead of packages, you can give iPhone iPhone jars and then you can mention your connector jar file. So you can do either of the way. Now I'm going to uh, execute this command. So this, as I told you, this will uh, download the packages from the internet and you will be getting some warnings and error that you can ignore. So there is, you don't want to worry about it. So let's wait for uh, like uh, this uh, spark shell uh, get into picture. So meantime, like uh, let me show you the table and the database which I'm going to read from Cassandra. So to check what are all the list of databases uh, present here. So there is a command I'm going to use. So I'm going to show you the database and the tables which I'm going to use in Spark to read from Cassandra. So here database is called as key spaces and Cassandra we call databases as key space. So just to get the list of key spaces that is database you have to use this command select star from system underscore schema dot key spaces. So this will list all the key spaces in Cassandra. You can see test is the key space that is the database which I have created. So I can give command use test. Okay, so let me clear the screen. So now we are inside the uh, database. Now I'm going to show you the list of tables that I have. Okay, so there is only one table. So select star from demo. Okay, so you can see there is two columns. So serial number and name, which has value one comma Gautam. So now here, yeah, the, uh, we, we are into Spark shell now. Let me show you the code, what I'm going to run. So I have some import statement, statements here, the Spark context and Spark conf, and then I'm just going to stop my current Spark context. And then I'm creating uh, uh, the conf, the Spark conf uh, uh, with the parameters, whatever required to connect with Cassandra. So Spark dot Cassandra dot connection is connection.host is actually the key you have to pass for the method set and then the host for Cassandra which is running in local host so 127.0.0.1 and then I'm, I just wanted to run the spark context with the threads thread count the local thread count as 2 and I'm giving some configuration name for it and now I'm importing the Cassandra import so this is the Cassandra import com dot data stacks so data stacks is a commercial vendor of Cassandra similar to Cloudra for Hadoop and Spark and Hartonox for Hadoop and Spark right so similar to that there is a commercial version of Cassandra is available with the name of data stacks it's a company so they provide all these connectors for us so we have to import that and then I'm I'm just uh, um, 
uh, with the object sc the spark context i'm i'm invoking a function called cassandra table and then i'm passing my database name comma table name so then i'm giving rdd dot first so it will it will read the first record of my table from cassandra via spark and after that with this rdd you can do whatever the processing you want you can do you can create data frames and then you do all kind of processing as possible so let me first create i mean so let me execute the code okay so i have given all the information which is required so now again i'm gonna pass this import okay let me clear the screen okay let me uh, run the data stacks import so there is no error fine and then i'm gonna pass my key space that is database name and table name which i showed you in cassandra right so demo is uh, the table name and test is the key space name okay so now i'm gonna print so the same thing you can do in uh, uh, by code as well means in the, in the ide you can build a scala code and then you can build that as a jar file and then you can run with spark submit so the same thing you can do in the code as well it will work okay my rdd dot first is is running i just passed a print statement for it let us wait for the output Okay, so you can see uh, I got the row Cassandra row serial number one and name Gautam. So I got the output. So this is how like we have integrated Spark Cassandra. The main point here is the package that you have passed when you when invoking the Spark shell. So there is one more piece of code just I wanted to share with you. If you want to perform some actions like uh, uh, creating a key space or table or inserting and record via Spark to Cassandra, you can use this piece of code. So like you can use this Cassandra connector uh, uh, function and then you can use this with session do and then session dot execute you can pass your uh, commands that which you want to execute. So this way like you can do all actions like insert, create key space, create table from Spark to Cassandra. Okay via spark to cassandra so thanks for watching this video like uh, i hope you really enjoyed this and please do subscribe my channel please do subscribe my channel and forward this to your friends and colleagues thanks for watching